All right, this is a question you are likely to encounter in a Google interview or interview with another company like Amazon or Facebook or Microsoft. So it says, find pair with a given sum in an array. Let's see what this question is all about. So this is how the question is laid out. Uh, you are given an unsorted array of integers. Find a pair with a given sum. So let's take for example, we have this array, array A is equal to 4518023, we have the uh, sum is equal to 9, this is what you are given, the output you are going to give is maybe 45418. So how do we approach it? Before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so you get notified when I make new lessons and also if you have some questions or problems you want me to solve let me know by writing it in the comment box below this video right now so if you've not subscribed just click and subscribe to subscribe all right so uh, there are three different approaches that can be used but today I'm going to treat the most optimal solution because if you solve this problem and the solution is not optimal it's not the best solution most likely you will not actually uh, get much points in case you are sitting for an interview. So the solution we are going to use will be to use a hash map. But before I guide, discuss the solution, let me tell you about the two other solutions that are not very okay. The first solution is to iterate through all these elements for four, you compare with five, check if is equal to nine, 4 plus 1, check if it's 9, and so on. After you move to 5, 5 plus 4, is it 9? 5 plus 1, is it 9? In this case, you have two for loops. One for loop outside, and the next set for loop inside. And if you have two for loops, it means the complexity will be n squared. We don't want that. The second one will be to have two index, or two indices. One is counting from the first part, and the second one, let me take my pen so I could write something out. So we have two indices. One starts from here and one starts from here. So you are moving inwards. So the first iteration you compare 4 plus 3. It doesn't equal to 9. The next iteration you compare 5 plus 2. It doesn't equal to 9. But before you can do this, you need to sort the array. So in this case, you, the complexity is equal to the time used to sort it, also the time uh, you use to iterate. So that means n log n. But we want to solve this problem in order of n time, and that is the best time it can you can solve it. All right, so I'm going to end this presentation, and I'm going to uh, go to Eclipse. So I've started a new file. I'll also say if you're following up, try to start a new file as well. And then I call this class find pairs. So let's write the function that is called, uh, is a function that is going to return, um, is going to just print out the index of this, uh, where the, 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 the pair is found. So let's say public, public static uh, void, and let's call it find pairs. All right. So it's going to take an integer array int a, an integer array. Int, uh, sorry, yes. It's going to take an integer array, not just an integer, but an integer array. And it's also going to take sum, right? So these are your inputs int sum. So the first thing we want to do at this point is to create a hash map. I actually have written this program so sometimes I might uh, look to check to make sure uh, I'm getting it perfectly so I'll, I'll make sure you get the right thing. The first thing you want to do is to create a hash map. What are you going to do with this hash map? What we are trying to do in this case we are trying to say that each time we read an element in the array we want to compare with what is in the hash map. So for each iteration, we compare it with what is in the hash map. If it's in, if it's in the hash map, we check if what is in the hash map plus the new item we write, does it equal to the sum? So in effect, we are saying, what we are saying in effect is, 
we are trying to check if the complement of this current item is in the hash map. So let's say we read 4 for now, now and we put 4 in the hash map. If we now, in the second iteration, we read 5, we are going to compare 5 plus 4 that is already existing in the hash map. So how we do it is we say we compare 5 and sum minus 5. So basically we are comparing the current element with the complement of that element. So let's do it so that it becomes less. So we say map, uh, map of in, uh, map that will hold integer, integer. So the map is going to hold two item, two items. The first item it holds is the the key. The key is the, the particular element and the value is going to be the index because that is what we're interested in. Map is equal to new hash map. Alright. So let's create a new hash map. So now we have errors and what you are going to just do shift control O to put in the the, the import statement. So what we want to do now is to loop through this array A and and then perform the operation one. So let's write the function. So we say for int i is equal to zero is equal to zero i is less than uh, a dot length minus one. We say i plus plus. Okay, so at this point, you just put a little comment here that says end of for loop, so you don't mix up the closing braces. So you say end of function. All right. All right, so let me give you a little space. So what we are going to do inside the for loop uh, is for us to compare, we are going to compare the current element with, the, we are going to compare the, 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 the the current element, the, co the complement of the current element with what we already have. So we are going to say if um, if map dot contains so map dot contains the current element uh, the, the sum minus sum minus the current element. So I'll say map that contains sum minus a i. Right? Good. So if this is true, if some if some contains map uh, um, if map contains the the sum minus a i if it contains this value or this uh, this key then map that contains key if it contains this key then what I'm going to do is that we have found it so I'll say I'll just print out to say pair found hats. Hats. so the first index we found it is um, it's the index existing in the map already, so that should be map dot gets map dot gets. Uh, I'll specify the key, which is uh, which is actually this key sum minus a i. Mm -hmm. So so it's found the first index index is the index of this key which we see uh, is contained in the map and the second index I'm going to specify plus and now I'm going to specify the second index which is i right the i is the current uh, uh, the index for the current element all right so assuming that after after doing this, I'm just going to return because at this point we don't need to continue doing any further thing. 
So, however, if the map does not contain uh, this complement, so you simply insert this item into the map. So you simply say map dot uh, put. So the key I'm going to put now is uh, a i, mm -hmm. and the value is i. All right. Yeah. So that is basically how it works. So, so if at the end of the day, let me correct this one. The the, the system um, the the loop does not return uh, in this place. It means that it's iterated through all the elements of the of the loop without finding this item. So I'm just going to come here and say uh, I'll some simply say sum not found, and I'm going to stop it. So this is basically how it works. So this guarantees that it's going to be order of n time. So let's test it. I'm going to then say uh, int array ar ar uh, is equal to I just pass in let's say one, two, two, five, six, one, nine, uh, seven, right? All right. So let's say the sum we are looking for is in sum is equal to what? Let's say we are looking for seven, right? So at this point. We have seven to be, um, let's say, is it three and okay, one and six at index uh, three and four. All right. So I'm going to just call the function we wrote. Let me just call this function find pair. I'll simply say find uh, system the alt the print. I'm going to say find pair. And I'm going to give it a error and sum. All right. So system that all the print print line print system that all the print line. So basically, each the the the, the find page does not actually return anything. So let's just call it so that it prints out items on the console. So I'm going to run this code and it says pair found at two and three. So this is zero, one, two, and this is three, so six and one. So let's say we put in something that is not working. Let's say 20. So we can't get it. There is no pay that sums up to 20. So if I run it now, so it says no sum found. So basically, this is how to solve this problem using order of end time. Uh, maybe you can pause this video, copy this code, run it yourself. Also, look at the description box, you'll see link to explanation of this code. I'd like to thank you for viewing, reminding you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and seen the nice program.